Hello, my name is Asane. I was in the white magic of Osiris branch from 1992 to 2003. I studied parapsychology and syncretism, which includes many esoteric disciplines. But it was my union with the siren of the Indian Ocean that opened my eyes to many secrets. It was my wife, the oceanic siren that revealed to me the secret of the universe. I was born into a family that was deeply in tradition and superstition. Basically, it all started when my parents died. Because of their death, I have no notion of parental or maternal love. I was young when they died. I found myself in misery and poverty. Then a man in the neighborhood who worked in the National Airline Company, who knew me very well and who was aware of the fact that I was an orphan, gave me a book. This man knew that I was going through difficulties and misery. But this man was an occultist. I was 19 years old when this man gave me this book called The Secret of Success. I started reading this book until I read the whole book in its entirety without knowing it was a book on magic. However, when I finished reading this book, I noticed behind the book it was written the following, You are indeed in the magic branch of Osiris. The fact that you have finished reading this book makes you an initiative to the magic of Osiris. You cannot back away, otherwise, there will be consequences. You will die or you will become crazy. So you must confirm your affiliation by writing to the address above. Considering that I was in poverty and despair, I told myself that there was nothing to lose. I started to write to the address that was indicated in this book. I wrote to them telling them of my needs and concerns, and they responded to my letters. We must understand that the devil is poor. When people come to him, he gives them their own money. I mean, every human being has a budget that God had prepared for him. But when you go to the devil for wealth, he gathers together all the money that God gave you and he gives it back to you. The devil takes the money that God gave people as their budget and gives it to them in one installment. In reality, it's their own money. Chapter 3 My Initiation in Occultism After some time, this branch of magic started sending me articles and magic utensils for the ceremonial ritual and prayer of incantation. When I was initiated into magic, I developed telepathic and telekinetic ability, so much so that I could inject thoughts into the minds of people. I could even supplant people's thoughts with other thoughts. I was taught astrology, palmistry, and necromancy. Every time a man signs a contract with the devil, the beneficiary is always the devil, who never respects the terms of the package because he is a deceiver. When I signed the contract with the invisible world, it was written in the parchment, you will help us in the physical world and we will help you in the invisible world. But the devil is a deceiver. Indeed. I remember a famous comedian in our country who had signed a contract with a demon of the pandemonium world. This demon was the god of comedy and humor, the one who makes people laugh in the infernal world of Satan. When the comedian had signed a pact with his demon, he did not know that there were terms and conditions that were hidden in the agreement that he had signed. As a result, this comedian fell victim because the demon of the comedy killed his son. In fact, to get something from Lucifer, you will need his signature and that of Belzebub and Ashtarot. While I was corresponding with this occultic branch of magic, they sent me a powder called Catalyst, which I was to place on my forehead at night. It allowed me to dominate everybody in the neighborhood. As my initiation was evolving, my personality changed. I spoke less and I listened more. So I had developed a sense of observation. In addition to that, I became more and more wise and intelligent. 
I could read the thoughts of people. I could also treat people through meditation. In parapsychology, things are done by thoughts and gestures of hands and feet, because thought and meditation create cosmic effects. Thanks to the control of my mind, I had become powerful and higher. In consequence, I began to meet people of different esoteric branches. I started to share knowledge with Rosicrucians and Freemasons. As I progressed in the magic of Osiris, I wanted more knowledge and more power and as quickly as possible, but in the lodge where I was affiliated, there were many procedures and protocols. However, I was anxious to get more power and knowledge. Indeed, occultism is like a great ocean. Once you're inside, you will be trying to penetrate more deeply for more knowledge and more power. So I wanted to speed up the process of gaining knowledge and occult power. In this process, one of my friends in the mystical circle suggested to me to get in touch with the world of sirens and mermaids. He advised me to marry a mermaid. He gave me protocol and instructions, which I had to follow to get in touch with the ocean kingdom of mermaids and sirens. Immediately, I started writing letters on the parchment that I was sending to the mermaid kingdom of the ocean, and the mermaid world was responding to my letters. Chapter 4 The Journey to the World Beneath the Indian Ocean After some time while the correspondence continued, I finally decided to meet these supernatural beings face to face. For that, I had received instructions about the procedure to follow. There were many precautions that I had to take before invoking these pre-Adamic beings, because they are powerful and extremely dangerous. Otherwise, I risked losing my life. I knew that I could lose my life if I failed to do things properly. It was therefore necessary for me to impose myself some physical and psychic discipline. I was told that once I land in the world of mermaids in the ocean, all my protections would amount to nothing. The prerequisite was to fast and pray while reciting certain incantatory prayers in a specific order for a number of days. This discipline was meant to harden my heart against the temptation of sirens, mermaids, and goddesses of the ocean. Because there are many traps in the universe of sirens, if anyone succumbs to any of their temptations, it is difficult to find the way back to the earth. It would be death. It is easier to enter the submarine kingdom than to get out of it because the majority of the population are female. These beings hardly let the male visitors leave their dimension. So it was necessary to fast to avoid emotions such as fear, astonishment, panic, and so on. It was necessary to fast in order to avoid one of these feelings. That is why I had to observe this fasting for several days. Here we can see how not to be seduced by sirens. The magician must fast for a few days in order to achieve demonic goals. How much more really should children of God pray and fast to resist the lusts of the world? In order to come to a mermaid I needed to perform magic. Conjuring this kind of invocation was risky and very dangerous. A few days later, my colleague showed me the riverside where the siren came regularly. I was to impose myself some abstinence before going to the river. After some days of fasting, I went to the riverside and I began to recite the invocation prayer when suddenly I began to feel a very strong wind blowing around the river. Despite this initial manifestation, I continued to do magical prayers. Suddenly, a powerful whirlwind rose above the river. Right away, I saw fires and strange phenomena. These paranormal phenomena were just the precursor to the appearance of these mythical and supernatural entities. Then suddenly, I saw a serpent, a huge one, appearing above the river. After the manifestation of the serpent, I saw the goddess of the Indian Ocean appearing. The goddess of India stood above this mythical snake. She was tall and beautiful. I was shaking in front of this entity after her appearance. The mermaid said to me, I am the Queen Ashanti of India. What can I do for you? I said to her, you are the only one in all the universe that can fill the need of my heart. She said to me, follow me. I followed the queen of the Indian Ocean in her submarine kingdom. We must understand that after the fall of Lucifer he wandered in the physical and the material universe. In the end, he decided to build a civilization. The moment I entered the mermaid world, 
I noticed that there was no sun, no stars. It was similar to an imaginary world but it was real. It was the realm of Deva and the great ladies of the sea. The popular musician Kofi sang a song in which he mentioned this mermaid kingdom located under the Indian Ocean. In his song, he complimented and praised the great ladies of the sea, who are also called Deva. I said that the sirens closer to the devil are called Tritons. They are ruled by Queen Alida who dwell in Brazil. Beloved, a mermaid is not a man nor woman. She is a spirit, a demon. She takes on the appearance of any race and any shape. So when we entered this kingdom under the Indian Ocean, I was received very well. There was a party for me. In this feast, there were many great ladies of the sea that came to the celebration held for me. I was the guest of the goddess of India, who governs this world under the Indian Ocean. She made me visit her universe. Almost all the population in this world was made up of women who looked alike. Later, I had to choose one for myself. While visiting this universe underwater, I noticed calmness, serenity and peace in this mysterious world. The goddess seems to be welcoming and hospitable. After the visit, the queen of the Indian Ocean said to me, you will be visited by many of the great ladies of the sea. You will have to choose one. When I was about to return to the earth, she explained to me the kind of food that these ladies of the sea eat on the earth. Then I left this kingdom and I emerged at the river bank where I entered this fantastic world. Then the Queen Ashanti of India and the invisible world disappeared. Chapter 5 Life with my wife the mermaid When I returned home, I saw pictures of mermaids and ladies of the sea. They were mystically placed in my wardrobe. Since that day, the ladies of the sea visited me at specific times. I was supposed to choose from the many pictures of mermaids that appeared in my wardrobe. The woman that I choose would become my wife. One day at night, I was visited by those ladies of the sea who were in the photos. When they landed in my room, they started to dance provocatively and sexily in order to seduce me. I was supposed to avoid succumbing to their seduction, otherwise, I would be transported to their universe under the sea, never to return to earth again, and so I had to resist them until dawn. When it was four o'clock in the morning, they all left. They went back to the kingdom of the Indian Ocean, but I noticed that one of the divas had stayed. She congratulated me for having resisted her friends who were trying to seduce me. She said, I am the one that you have chosen in the photo. I am your wife. I am Shanta. After this introduction, this woman of the ocean gave me instructions and prohibition that I had to observe. She said to me, Asain, you can only eat food cooked by your mother, but not another woman of this earth. You must be hygienic. You're going to change your underwear every day. You're never going to marry an earthly woman anymore. I started living with this mermaid of the kingdom located beneath the Indian Ocean. She imparted to me power and strength. I became powerful. As I lived with her, she gave me wealth and wisdom. The mermaid had the knowledge of thousands of years because she is a pre-Adamic creature who has witnessed the birth of Jesus on earth. One day she said to me, Asain, do you know that this earth belongs to us? We control 90% of this world. These Christians are only 10%. Everything that you see on this earth has our signature and our stamp. The nations belong to us. Politics, finance and the world economy belong to us. All the industries that you see on the earth belong to us. Whether it's the jewelry industry, cosmetics and the beauty industry, they are in our hands. The fashion and trend belong to us. New technology and cellular technology are invented in our underwater world. Every time those Christians who are our hostile enemies run after the things of this world, they come to us because things of this world belong to us. Even technology and science belong to us. Beloved, the church is supposed to be an ideal place because people are supposed to be altruistic. The apostles were altruistic, they completely and radically abandoned this world. And they were totally separated from this world and all the things of this world because the world and the things that are there belong to the devil. All that you see in this world belongs to the devil, 
like good cars, clothing, their tendency, and fashion, beauty and wealth. A true Christian must separate and detached from the world. But today pastors are running after the things of this world that belong to the devil. They only preach about the earthly good. This world actually does not belong to the Christian. 90% of the world belongs to the devil. The disciples of Jesus Christ died poor because they have preferred to lose the world and to gain eternal life. They did not love life on earth. That's why they all inherited the kingdom of God. If you are a Christian, and you want to win the world that belongs to the devil, you are going to lose your soul. Because as far as I know, all the good things you see on this earth belong to the devil. You have to look at the eternal things and reject the physical things that are temporary. That's why Jesus said, my kingdom is not of this world. Christianity has nothing to do with the material things of this world. In principle on this earth, the life of each man comprises five components, which are food, clothing, wealth, honor, and glory. Men's souls are lost because of three of these five pieces which are wealth, honor, and glory. That is why men who are contented with the two components of life that are food and clothes avoid perdition. That means that they decided to live in simplicity and austerity during their stay on earth, hoping to live the other components of life in heaven. A true Christian finds that it is enough to dress and to eat. He does not seek glory, power, and wealth. These are the last three things that separate men from their Lord and lead them to death. 1 Timothy 6 6 11 6 But godliness with contentment is great gain. 7 For we brought nothing into the world, and we can take nothing out of it. 8 But if we have food and clothing, we will be content with that. 9 Those who want to get rich fall into temptation and a trap and into many foolish and harmful desires that plunge people into ruin and destruction. 10 For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil. Some people, eager for money, have wandered from the faith and pierced themselves with many griefs. Chapter 6 The Mermaid and the Mystery of the Universe When I started living with the mermaid, she started revealing to me the names of fallen angels and powers that rule and govern the world. She told me that in every aspect and area of human life, there are specific entities in charge that you can call for help. This lady showed me how to call and summon entity and power in whatever problem I encounter on earth. She says to me, there are entities and demons that you can call for help in all the situations you find yourself in, whether it's health, science, physical strength, favor wisdom. She enabled me to call and summon these entities and powers to intervene in all kinds of situations I face. I remember one day I was assaulted by a wrestler who was also an occultist, I was really in trouble. Immediately I recited an incantation. As a result, the devil appeared in the form of a three-headed serpent, and he resolved the situation. So thanks to the secret knowledge of the universe that I obtained from Shanta, I began to dominate the people in the neighborhood. I learned many secrets of the spirit world through this diva of the ocean that was my wife. As I was living with my new wife of the sea, one day I got sick. Immediately she called a demon who deals with health and healing in the world of Satan by the name of Dr. Zuzabi. This demon came and gave me treatment and care. As a result, I was healed. Many years later when I got sick this lady of the sea began to show me the properties, the virtues, and the secrets of the plants and trees. She revealed to me what is hidden in plants and trees. The mermaid revealed to me the mystery of the chemical properties of plants and leaves. She revealed to me what I can call herbal medicine. She told me that I could use the leaves of plants and trees for healing. She showed me specific trees for remedies to specific diseases. I remember one day I got sick, the mermaid sent me to get leaves of a melon plant and she boiled it for me and I had to drink water from this melon leaf. As a result, I was cured. The same thing happened when I got sick again for the third time. She took some leaves from a plant and boiled them for me. When I drank it I was cured. This mermaid of the Indian Ocean knew the chemical property and the healing power of plants and trees and their healing capacities. In the Egyptian and Babylonian civilization, 
the priests were in contact with these supernatural beings who know the enigma and mystery of nature. People in these civilizations were using herbal medicine. While I was living together with this water mermaid every day at home, the food was appearing on the table or the fridge but I did not know where they came from. And so for several years, I had food that appeared like that in my fridge, not knowing where they came from. The mermaids consider it an obligation to get food to appear for me because she would not cook. As soon as I began to live with Shanta, I quickly noticed that her natural smell was that of a fragrance. The perfume was her natural smell and sirens also wash with perfume. I remember when I was looking for deliverance, I went to a church but during the worship, I felt the smell of a mermaid on a lady. I told the lady that she had a siren in her body. She would not accept that the mermaid spirit of the water was in her body. And she did not like what I said. She began to debate with me. But in the end, I asked her, are you married to a wealthy man in the country? She answered negatively. I asked her, do you often walk by the river? And she said to me, I often walk with my mother by the river. I told her, one day while you were walking with your mother near the river, a water siren entered your life. This is the reason why you are releasing the perfume of the smell of sirens. This lady of the ocean was bringing me perfume when she traveled to her country under the Indian Ocean. She brought me a lot of things, but most of the money that she brought me, I had to use it the same day. It is necessary to know that there are powerful fallen angels who reign with Satan in the invisible world like Belial, Leviathan, and the Queen of Heaven. The main activity of the siren of the Indian Ocean is sexual immorality. Shanta was sending me in the street to throw our mystical powder at night in crossroads and roundabouts, in all the public places where men and women are at all times. This enchanting powder was causing sexual depravity among the victims. The mermaids and sirens were also working with Leviathan, who is represented by the crocodile totem in the clothing brand called Lacoste. She also works with Medusa who is a huge siren. A mermaid is not a man or a woman. She is a supernatural entity. Chapter 7 The Devil Genetic and Hybrid Program The main purpose of mermaids and sirens of the Indian Ocean is unnatural marriage. Most servants of the devil such as witches and satanists get married to mermaids and sirens of the Indian Ocean and they produce children that are Watamami. These children are hybrid demons. The devil is promoting unnatural marriages between mermaids and humans in order to increase the demonic population. The Bible says in Genesis 6 verse 4 there were the Nephilim, giants, in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came in to the daughters of men, and they bore children to them, the same became mighty men which were of old, men of renown. Although I am separated from Shanta, I left her with four children that we had in the kingdom of the Indian Ocean. However, last year I was visited by one of these children, who is a hybrid identity classified as Watamami. He came physically to see me and we talked. You may wonder how? You must understand that every weekend the dead and water mermaids come to relax and enjoy life in bars and nightclubs physically. This hybrid child of the sea came to see me in order to convince me to go back to her mother of the Indian Ocean. He told me that the dead and the spirits are everywhere in the city, but most of them came to see a Catholic priest. I remember not long after my separation from Shanta, one day, I was relaxing around on the bridge when suddenly a mermaid attacked me. She tried to strangle me. Thank God in my pocket I had salt. When I threw salt on her, she screamed an infernal cry and disappeared, and I felt as if my eardrum would burst. As I was living with Shanta, she was telling me secrets. One day she on time told me, when there was a rebellion of 80 days in your country in 1966, the president of your country did not want to lose the war. His army was pushed back by the rebellion that was advancing and was victorious. As consequence, the authority of your country came to see us. After the signing of the treaty with us, we turned one of your military officers into a woman. He had to sleep in the cemetery for seven days. As a result, he was transformed into a woman. 
he went behind the enemy line and managed to seduce one of the generals of the rebellion. When she started to live with him, she managed to gather all the plans and the strategies of the rebellion. That is the way the government of your country managed to defeat this rebellion. You can ask the question, how did we manage to transform this officer into a woman? I told you that this world belongs to us. Even to win an international football game, your government officers travel to our kingdom for consultation. We recommended the national team players sleep in the cemetery. Some of these football players were recommended to sleep with underage girls in order to be able to score goals. Some of these players were supposed to put on the underwear of women recently dead in order to score goals. They were supposed to wear this underwear during the match. It should be noted that Lucifer who is the god of this world can take many forms. He has many appearances interchangeably according to the task he is supposed to perform. He is in operation. If he wants to kill, he appears like a three-headed lion in order to punish. In that case, he is called the lion of the three heads. But he can also appear as an angel of light to impress the new initiate. On top of that, he can appear as the goat Baphomet with the inverted cross, which is also in Mercedes and the symbol of Greenpeace. In addition, the members of his government uses the emblem of the dragon which is 666. It is the symbol of political power through the organization of the nations in the United Nations body. 666 is the mark of the beast representing the organization of nations, but apart from the political organization, which is 666, there is also the system 555, the system 777, the system 111. The devil is the master of all these systems. He is the master of the financial and economic system, the master of the political system, and the religious system. Each of these systems is represented by a number. All the systems of this world belong to Satan. The world and all it contains are in the hands of Satan. 1 John 5 verse 19 We know that we are of God, and the whole world lieth in the evil one. There is a telephone network in our country named after Lucifer. After being expelled from heaven, Lucifer had promised God that he will oppose him in all possible ways. This is called the Luciferian conspiracy. Hospitals belong to the devil. The official sign of the medical profession is caduceus. The caduceus is a symbol with a short staff entwined by two serpents, sometimes surmounted by wings while the rod of Asclepius is the one with a single snake. The similarity between both these symbols is the snake. It is a place of demonic activity. Bowl of Hygieia is a symbol of pharmacy, along with the rod of Asclepius. Hygieia was the Greek goddess of health, hygiene, and the associate, wife, or daughter of Asclepius. Asclepius' symbol is his rod, with a snake twined around it, correspondingly, Hygieia's symbol is a cup or chalice with a snake twined around its stem. In the aftermath of the world war that took place in the celestial regions as it is written in Revelation 12 colon 7, and there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought back, but they were not the strongest, and their place was no longer found in heaven. The devil had sworn to turn the world against God. The devil has his presence fully in the world, even in architecture and construction. Personally, I have never been to France. But when I was traveling an interdimensional trip, I mean, I went to France and the world in astral traveling, and I saw the architecture and the monument of the world of Satan. Replicated here on the earth and metropolis like Paris. One of the monuments of the kingdom of Satan is the obelisk, the Louvre Museum that is a pyramid, and the Eiffel Tower which is also a pyramid. All these are pyramids of the kingdom of pandemonium. One of the entities that govern the spirit world can be seen on the emblem of the European Parliament, even in European money. The devil is even in the dollar. Sacrifice was made so that this money can dominate the world. Chapter 8 Spiritual War and Battle for the Souls of Men When I was in occultism, I discovered that the Christians were the most mysterious people on earth. I had noticed that when a Christian walks in the street, he is one. But when we approached him to threaten his safety, 
he becomes two. Another person appeared, who is the angel of the Lord. Christians have the mark and the symbol of Jesus Christ on their foreheads, but they do not know how to use the great power that God has delegated to them. I was a practitioner of spiritism. I was talking to the dead. Often we went to the cemetery to unearth the dead. The coffin of Christians and their remains are protected by resplendent angels. Whenever a Satanist or a demon comes close to the tomb of Christians, they face angelic opposition. But when a carnal Christian dies and is buried in his sins, he suffers terribly. When a failing pastor dies with sin, his funeral will be transformed into a feast and celebration of demons. In consequence, the demons of all kinds will come to take part in this feast. The victim will be subjected to incredible torture and torment. It would have been better for him not to even be born. The death of a carnal Christian is catastrophic. He will be surrounded by demons of all kinds, that he will be tortured by demons in a cruel way. There is a demon principality that stays in the cemetery. He is the demon who destroys the project and aspiration of people. He works with wandering demons who bring him information about people. This demon principality of the cemetery is voluminous, and he is one giant. He is the one who devours and consumes the flesh of carnal Christians and the bodies of victims who died without Christ. In this war, Christians must learn to control the day through morning prayer. Every day at noon, there is a woman called the Queen of the South who patrols the earth in midday. She is the sovereign of the first heaven. Another demon that patrols the earth at noon and during the day is the Emperor of Death. He controls the hospitals and he drinks blood at the hospital. There is an underworld dimension called the Cro-Magnon world. When this realm opens up, a demon will go out. However, before the closing of the gate of this world, the demon must come back with a soul that he is supposed to capture on the surface of the earth. The devil's greatest weapon is deception. The devil's second weapon is fear. And the devil's third weapon is doubt because in the Garden of Eden, Eve added to God's word. When a witch comes into the night he will use the weapon of fear. Once the victim is full of fear he will then attack. In our country that is an astral city hidden in the mountain and the hill. The unseen city of witches is called Agartha World. This kingdom of witches is ruled by the river siren called Queen Catherine, a water mermaid. Every time a witch sacrifices a soul to her, she adds the eyes of the victim to the wizard, which is important to the kingdom of darkness because the devil is not omnipresent. There is a witch in every family, every enclosure, every street, and neighborhood. This structure is useful to the kingdom of Lucifer who is not omnipresent. There is a category of demons called wandering spirits. They are humanoid demons but very short. They are the ones who report to the devil all that is happening on earth. They are the informers of the devil. They report to the devil everything that happens in the world. And as I am testifying here they will report me to Lucifer. They are posted and stationed in public places like the crossroads and roundabouts, even in the markets. They are on the trees, terraces. Avoid eating and talking about your life in the street and roundabouts. These wandering spirits even enter the church during the service but they leave during worship. There is a category of demons called Phalebus. They are massive and heavy. When they are stationed in neighborhoods, they make the people of the district manifest negative and repulsive behavior like vandalism. They provoke recalcitrant behavior. They're another powerful demon called Princess Genevi and the Blitz Bombard. The war and the hostility between the realm of Satan and the church are real. But Christians are not as practical as occultists. When a Christian faces a problem, he is not practical. In fact, he disappears before his problem instead of applying practical instructions from the Bible. My former wife, the mermaid said to me that Lucifer was created 6,000 years before men, and he is seven times powerful than average angels. But angels are seven times more powerful than sirens and mermaids who are seven times more powerful than men. God sometimes grants the devil access to his throne. Lucifer is a great and powerful winged cherub when he was in heaven. 
he was supposed to complete a program in the seven mountains that represent the seven knowledge but he only reached the third level, and he rebelled himself. When there was uprising and revolution in heaven, God knew all things right from the beginning, but he allowed this and revolt to follow its course. The devil started this insurrection and revolution with Belzebub and Ashtarot. He was joined by another powerful angel in the name of the Queen of Heaven. This angel is worshipped as Mary in the Catholic and Orthodox churches. Chapter 9 My Separation from the Mermaid After having lived with the mermaid for many years, I could not stand this kind of life any longer. Actually, while I lived with this lady of the sea, I could not marry an earthly woman anymore. But at a certain moment, I wanted to get married and have children like everyone else. Actually, I had a wife and children. But when I got married with this lady of the Indian Ocean, she killed my wife and children. As we were living in that four years, we had four children who were Watamami. They were hybrid, aquatic demons. I had enough of this marriage. And when I told Shanta that I wanted to move on, she was unprepared for this news. So she got angry. She asked me, really? Are you serious? I said, absolutely. Shanta was laying on the bed. I was about to sit around her when she blasted me and asked me to stay away from her. She said to me, do you think that God will accept you any longer? You are already rejected by God. You are a human yet you went on to marry a spirit. This is an unnatural union and forbidden relationship. God has already rejected you. He will not accept you. The mermaid said to me, as you have decided to leave us, let me warn you, you will not tell the world about our secret. You will not reveal our mystery to the world. She said to me, okay, I leave you, I could have killed you. But I do not want to kill you. But you're going to suffer because I will dispossess you of everything that I gave you, I will leave you with nothing. After separation, the mermaid took away the wealth and health. As a result, there was a flood of problems of all kinds before me as a result of this separation. Shanta said to me, it is true that you have decided to leave us but you must understand that you are ours because all initiates remain members even after they have left. Then this mermaid stamped her seal on my flesh to indicate that I belong to them, and she said to me, I could have killed you but I won't. But this is the punishment, you will be bleeding in your mouth and your penis regularly like a woman menstrual. When I separated from the siren she took the money, the wisdom, and she stamped my flesh with her seal. Immediately after separation from the mermaid, I began to seek deliverance. I paid a visit to a pastor. This pastor tried to deliver me, but the siren Shanta came and counter-attacked. As a result, there was a violent battle between the pastor and the mermaid. The glass of the house was broken. There were paranormal manifestations. Few weeks after my separation, I saw a young man who was a wrestler. He came to inform me that accusation is being leveled against me in the pandemonium. Some time later, I met a Christian who had no experience in deliverance. Considering that she had no experience in these things, she should not have tried to deliver me. It was when she was praying for my deliverance that there was a counter-attack. As a result, she became crazy. Then people in the neighborhood captured me. Immediately people called the police and I was arrested. When the authority arrived, they questioned me. I explained to them that she insisted to deliver me, although she had no experience. Then the authority arrested me. After some time they handed me to a prominent man of God in the city. They asked the pastor to deliver me, although I did not agree with that. I was lined up with the others and told to confess our witchcraft. As I was kneeling there, I started doing conjuring. As a result, I got in touch with the mermaid, and she asked, what is the problem? I said, I have been accused of witchcraft, but I am not a witch. I am forced to come to this church for deliverance. This is a humiliation. She said, really? I said, absolutely. Then she said to me, I can only come to the surface of the earth through marriage and covenant. 
I cannot come personally to assist you because we are divorced. But let me ask my leader Demeter or others so that they can come and assist you and get you out of there. First she reported to the Siren Queen Alida in Brazil. Afterward, she contacted her leader Genevi. After talking to her leaders, she told me, Genevi is coming, but she is actually visiting her partner in your country. Right now she is in the house of a popular musician of your country. Once she is done with him she will attend to your situation and intervene. Genevi is an underworld siren that is married to one of our musicians. The mermaid Shanta said, once she leaves the musician, she will come to help you. Start reciting the prayer of our father who art in heaven. This our father prayer is said by Satanists as a parody. The father in this prayer is understood by Satanists to be Lucifer. Immediately I began to recite our father who is in heaven. I did it seven times in the toilets in order to see the result. And she also instructed me to recite specific psalms. In occultism, biblical prayers and biblical passages are misused. After a while I was still in the church when the siren Genevi arrived. As a result, there was a strong wind blowing in the church. The pastor looked at me, then she looked up in the air. Actually, the siren demon was suspended in the space. The pastor asked me, what is in the space? I replied, I called for intervention. The pastor replied to me, she does not have the right to come here. Has she come to fight me? Then the pastor told me, as you are not ready, we cannot do the deliverance prayer. As I was suffering from the sanction of the mermaid, I started writing letters so that the dark world could do something. I contacted a friend who meets with the devil frequently to plead for me, but I continued with the suffering. It was when I testified in this YouTube channel that a woman of God in the country of Angola called me and she prayed for me in the name of Jesus. As a result, the bleeding stopped. I was delivered from the chastisement of the mermaid. Chapter 10 Some Aspects of Satan's Kingdom Lucifer's disciples are invested in the cemetery because it is a portal to the world of Satan. These people are called the kings of the earth. If you dare to sit at the same table with Lucifer, he will surely convince you that God is a dictator and that he overreacted badly to his demand. And the devil always claimed that God treated him unjustly. After he was expelled from his homeland, the devil had promised God that he would oppose him and he would erase his name on earth. He often accuses the Bible of being a propaganda tool that discredits him. He always says he has a bad reputation because of the Bible. But to tell the truth, the devil is a criminal and a murderer. So after being expelled from heaven, God wrote the condemnation of Lucifer and his angels, and their fate was sealed, which is the lake of fire and brimstone. But God gave a short time to Lucifer and his angels to operate freely in the universe before applying the sanction on him and his angels. He made it clear that the penalty and punishment of the devil and his angels are not going to delay. This is why the devil and his angels are working to take the whole of humanity with them in the lake of fire. In fact, after the fall of Lucifer and the celestial war, there was a fallen angel who was worried and nervous. Whenever a year went by without destruction and punishment written by God for the world of Satan, the angel lit a candle and celebrated. This was the origin of the birthday party. That fallen angel who lit the candle every year to celebrate the fact that God delayed their destruction was worshipped in the name of the goddess Artemis. On the other hand, the devil runs a huge structured kingdom. After the fall of the rebellious angels, they wanted the cosmos and the universe, but in the end, they met in order to build a new civilization. Lucifer gathered angels who were builders, constructors, artists, and architects in heaven. They decided to build Pandemonium the capital of hell. They built this kingdom in a very short period and yet it exceeds our human civilization. The kingdom of Lucifer is in the air, under the sea, and under the earth. It has many regions like the world of Polyam, the world of Cro-Magnon, the Tartarus world. Whenever there was a meeting in the dark world, the devil sent his messenger who is the shadow of the angel Gabriel, in the name of Hermes Trismegistus, Hermes the thrice greatest. 
he was also worshipped as Thoth in ancient Egypt and is the lord of learning and wisdom. Hermes is recognized in ancient Greek as the emissary and messenger of the gods. He is always sent to earth to communicate Lucifer's program to the Satanists who are called the kings of the earth. In the kingdom of Lucifer, there is a false Jesus. He is the pseudo or false Jesus Christ. He is a powerful fallen angel in the name of Jupiter or Zeus. He is the one who is represented as the baby Jesus Christ carried by the false Holy Virgin Mary, who is Mary Margula, another fallen angel. She's the most powerful and the most elevated space siren, she lives in the second heaven, as queen of heaven, and also in the moon. She's above the queen of the Indian Ocean, she's above the queen of the south, she's above the queen of Arctica that sits beside Lucifer, she's above the queen of the coast, she's above the marine Jezebel. She's a space siren, an evil goddess worshipped by the ancient Babylonian, Persian, Greek, and Roman empires. She is worshipped in the Roman Catholic Church and the Orthodox Church as the Mother of God, Theotokos, Dot. And also in Islam and Buddhism. She's called Isis in Egypt. She's called Ishtar by the Babylonians. She's called Astart in the northwestern Semitic regions. She's called Aphrodite in Greek. She's called Madonna. She's called Artemis or Diana by the Ephesians. She's called Macarena in Latin America. She's called the Mystical Rose by the Rosicrucians. She has so many names among her worshippers all over the world. Her favorite symbol or posture is the mother and child posture, but the child she carries is not the baby Jesus, as supposed by many Catholics, she's actually carrying her evil son called Zeus or Jupiter. She lives in the moon, if you want to experiment this, bring a little child and ask that little child to look at the moon for some time, and ask that child to describe what he slash she sees, then observe the moon for some time, yourself, and you will notice the shape of a mother carrying a child, that's the evil goddess, queen of heaven. She's the Virgin Mary that the Roman Catholics make, bow down to, and worship her images and statues. She's the one that Catholics call Holy Mother of God, Mary Immaculate, Star of the Sea, Hail Holy Queen, Hail Queen of the Heavens, and so on. She's worshipped in almost all the religions of the world, except in born-again and true Bible-believing churches. She's the one that gives the false men of God fake anointing, fake miracles, and healing powers. She oversees the activities of other space and ocean sirens. She alongside Lucifer, are the principal actors in the revolt and war in heaven, and she was cast out of heaven together with Lucifer and other fallen angels. If you're a Catholic, please listen, I don't compel you to believe me, or believe my narrative, but pray, at least, and ask the Lord to clarify this issue to you. Don't go to the lake of fire, just because you love your religion, your soul is greater than the whole religions of the world put together. Please pray with Jeremiah 33 verse 3, and ask the Lord to show you great and mighty things that you know nothing about. God bless you as you do. Chapter 11 Occultism The only reason people go into occultism is for material comfort. It's about material interest, but today if you look, you'll see that pastors are preaching comfort and material interest. They are not of God. Many people who die in the city are the victims of wizards, the latter do what is called an occultation. They hide the spirit of the person. And once this victim is buried, they return the spirit of the person in his body. When you notice that the corpse sweats or cries, this means that his spirit is hidden out of his body by the wizard waiting for the body to be buried. This so that they will come at night to unearth him and return his consciousness. Then they will transform him into an animal in order to devour him. In some cases, they will turn him into a servant spirit in the service of the kingdom of Lucifer. They can send him on earth on a mission against his family. He will therefore operate like a demon at their service because he is their captive until the time allocated to him by God arrives. Let me mention music because it is a channel used by Satan to bewitch our country. Most of our musicians in this country are in occultism. When they sing their songs they bewitch the people. In fact, 
when they sing their songs they recite an incantation, invocation, and magical formulation. As a result, the people who listen to their music are bewitched, manipulated, and cursed. The devil uses their music as a doorway to bewitch whereby he affects the morality of people in this country. This music promotes sexual immorality and debauchery. These musicians are evangelists of Satan. The musician Franco did sing for the mermaid or the princess kicker, who is the siren of sexual immorality and depravity. People thought that he was singing for a human being but in reality, he was singing for a mermaid of debauchery. Francois Luambo Luanzo Mokshadai, July 6, 1938 to October 12, 1989, was a musician from Congo. He was a major figure in 20th century Congolese music. He is referred to as Franco Luambo or simply Franco. Wikipedia The musician in the name of Wemba sang a song in the name of Operation Dragon. In this song, he asks the ladies to dance with their bellies and honor the sun god. Jules Chung Wembadio Pin Kikumba, June 14, 1949 to April 24, 2016, known professionally as Papa Wemba, was a Congolese singer and musician who played Congolese rumba, sukos, and endombolo. Dubbed the king of rumba rock, he was one of the most popular musicians of his time in Africa and played an important role in world music. Wikipedia The singer Kofi sang a song called Abracadabra, which is a satanic formula in the dimension in the kingdom of Lucifer. Antoine Christophe Igbapamumba, July 13, 1956, known professionally as Kofi Olamide, is a Congolese suku singer, dancer, producer, and composer. Wikipedia One of the musicians repeated the letter V three times. He was repeating VVV. People did not know that V is 6 and that VVV is 666. In this way, the youth of this country is manipulated and bewitched. A former musician who is now born again sang a popular song for Queen Maya who is Lucifer's wife and goddess. We thought he was singing for a woman who was his girlfriend, but we now know he was singing for a powerful mermaid who was married to Lucifer. These profane singers are Satanists and evangelists of the devil. Most of our ancestors and ancestors were in the occult and this affects their subconscious. When you go visit a native doctor, you must understand there is a demon at the native doctor's gate. He will follow and control you. In each cemetery, there is a specific demon.